Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Flutter Masterclass. My name is Mitch and I'm going to be teaching you how to code apps with Flutter. If you don't already know, Flutter is a cross-platform framework, meaning we can create apps for iOS, Android and even web, as well as other platforms with just one code base, which is why I love Flutter so much. And this is a course that I wish I had when I first got started. So I've condensed everything you need to know into these 10 hours and I guarantee you if you can go through these 10 hours then you will be a proficient enough app developer to start building on your own. Now you don't need any programming experience at all to take this course. You can be a complete beginner as this course will start from the very beginning going through the very basics of programming fundamentals before jumping into Flutter itself. The only requirement is that you have Flutter installed on your computer and can open up a new project. If you can do that, then I'll take care of the rest. So this course is split into two parts. The first part is for the beginner level, just going from the very beginning, just to show you the outline of what we're going to cover. We're just going to firstly start with the programming fundamentals and then everything in Flutter is a widget. So we'll start to learn about the different widgets in Flutter and then I'll show you how to navigate between different screens. And then we have a very important idea of this stateless versus stateful widget. Next, we'll look at how to get the user's input and then we'll put all this together to create our first app, which is the to do app. And then let's try building up a more complex UI like this sneaker shop that you can add items to the cart. So those are the topics in the beginner level. And then once you've done that, we're going to move on to the intermediate level. And for this one, the First topic we're going to cover is just the themes. So for example, I'll show you how to use light mode versus dark mode. And then we'll look at some state management as we get more screens and our app grows in size. And then let's have a look at some more advanced UI by building up a minimal e-commerce app with a beautiful design. And then we have to update our programming concepts and understand null safety. Then we're going to start looking at storing our data in the database. So we'll start off with the offline database, meaning like in the device's local storage. So to demonstrate storing the database offline in the local storage, we'll create a simple notes app as well as a habit tracker. And then let's try to authenticate users. We're going to be using Firebase for this. And then let's store data in our database online using Firebase as well. So with this, we're going to create a chat app as well as a social media type app. And then a very important topic here is the API to try to read data. So we're going to build things like a weather app and an NBA app. And then number nine, we're going to look at some notifications for iOS and Android. And since Flutter is a cross-platform framework, for number 10, we're going to look at some responsive design, so for different screen sizes. And then let's have a look at something a little bit different. So let's create like a music player app. And then we're just gonna finish off with some final thoughts. So that's the plan. And now just for some general tips, I just wanted to say you have the entire internet at your fingertips, so make sure to use it. So if you come across something you don't understand, use the internet and try to figure out your problem because the act of formulating your question and finding a solution to it is how we learn. So make sure to use the internet. And what's more important than taking this course is for you to actually sit in front of a computer and code. We learn best by doing, so make sure you put in the hours to learn this stuff. So that's all the introductory stuff for this course. I'm sure if you apply yourself, you'll get a lot of value from this course. And I hope you come out the other end a really good Flutter developer. So good luck and we'll begin from the very beginning.